Do you ever feel stuck and not knowing what direction to take to move your business further? Well, in this episode number 109, I'm going to share with you three ways to always be moving your business further in any circumstances. So, stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from TerryGalexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online that attracts all the best qualified leads to your business so you can monetize your brand much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new episode and I also attach a freebie of some sort like a PDF cheat sheet guide of some sort for you to be empowered in your own way within your business. In this week episode, I want to share with you three ways to move your business in any circumstance, no matter what. So you never feel stuck and never wonder what to do next. You know, it is very easy to set some goals for life, business, health, etc. But it is equally easy not to take action on those goals because of external circumstances. The fact of life is that it is always moving forward. Whether you are doing something or doing nothing, the world is still carrying carrying on, right? It's doing its thing. So I have figured at some point that I might as well just do something with my life. Even if it feels like the world is on the standstill, I'd rather be in action doing something that is potentially going to move my business further at any point. And here I'm going to share with you the activities that are always going to move your business further, no matter what happens in the world. These are the activities that will make you be remembered in people's minds when they are ready to spend money into your product, business, or opportunity, whatever else you offer to the, to the marketplace. My first tip is to be of service. It might be obvious to you, yet it has to be said. You've got to be present in front of your audience as often as possible. It's not possible to be here for three days and gone for five weeks. It's going to remove all the credibility of the work you're trying to put out there and make you essentially spend time and energy for nothing into the work you are creating. Even if it's sharing just one post a day or one Facebook Live a day, but do something, something that is sharing value, helping other people, providing some fun, making them smile, and be present, engaging with your audience for them to engage back with you too. One thing I always remember, remind myself with, is that people buy into people, not into things or business. Hence, we've got to be present, we've got to be there, we've got to build that relationship and rapport for them to be getting the no like, trust factor into place when it comes to thinking of you. My second tip is about collaborations being the new competition. Oh gosh, I love this one and you must hear it. Listen very carefully. People really appreciate being asked to collaborate when, we, when you have a similar audience to, to theirs. That is a great opportunity to be in front of each other's audience without competing with one another and, and even gain some new followers. A great way to do it is by going live on Facebook or Instagram, YouTube, anywhere that you can go live with someone you want to collaborate with, you have a very similar audience and that you can serve together, you can provide value together while also growing each other's audience with one another's in, uh, following. Another point on this that I would add is to not be shy to ask people that have a larger audience than you. Be confident enough to go and ask those influencers if they are willing to get on a Facebook Live with you. If you have value to provide their audience and they have something they can provide yours as well, it, they're always going to be appreciative because their objective is to actually be in front of as many people as possible. So interviews are the great way to collaborate 
and people love being in front of others' audiences. So go and find people to do interviews with. And as you know, each and every single week, I do bring you a new freebie of some sort to empower you in your business so you can take it to the next level. This week, because we're talking about keeping on engaging with your audience, making sure that your business is always moving further in whatever circumstance that can happen, I got together a guide, which is my online testimonials guide, because it is really important to get some testimonies from people you have been serving, whether it's online, whether they are paid clients or not. Collecting testimonies are always going to be so powerful. I have put together an online guide, an online testimonies guide that can help you put your own testimonies together and give you even more light on your business as well as yourself. So if you want to get access to this online testimonies guide, then just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically to your email box. If you're on my YouTube channel or any other platform, just click into the description section somewhere around this video. You will see a link that is going to take you back to my blog. And again, once you're there below this video, you'll see a massive yellow button. You cannot miss it at all. Once you click it, you'll receive my online testimonials guide right into your email box. My last but really far from being the least tip that I'm going to give you to make sure that you can always move your business further in any circumstance is to have fun doing what you do. Really important to have fun. Funny will always bring you money, as Nadia Melton is always saying. That's her quote, and I think it's very funny. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to be a clown in front of the camera. That's not what it means at all. But just bring some light to your audience. People love to have a sense of humor and to, to know that you are not taking yourself too seriously. Here are some ways that you can actually bring some fun to your audience. Creating challenges, contests, and giveaways. There are really three strategies that you can use amazingly fun to do because it engages your audience. It allows your audience to feel like they are part of something bigger than, them, than themselves. They're always going to be up for a good freebie. So in your contests, your challenges, your giveaways, you should have something to provide, right? And that will also allow to grow your audience even bigger thanks to actually make your audience engage in something that they can invite their own friends and whomever they want to make, they want to be part of these challenges, contests, and giveaways with. In conclusion, and essentially what we've been saying here today is to always be present in your audience's mind. So they are always thinking of you when they want to talk about your business, what you're providing, the product that you have to offer, when they are ready, when someone is asking them for a recommendation about the type of products that you, you've got going on, they will recommend you if you are often present in front of their eyeballs. Really important to be consistent and committed to provide value on a regular basis. And remember, I've got your back with my online testimonials guide that you can get access to by clicking the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically to your email box. Did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did. If you did, of course, you know that you can share it with your network marketers, your fellow network marketers, fellow mega bodies, entrepreneurs, whomever you believe should be aware on how to keep their business moving no matter what happened. This is totally for them and they will also get access to the same freebie, the online testimonials guide that they can use for their business as well. Question of the week. What do you do in your business to serve your audience while having fun along the way? Let me know in the comment section. I'd love to pick your brain with your ideas. If you have some good ones, I'd love to give you a shout out as well. And let me know. I'm, I just, I'm just open to receive your creativity. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love connecting with you each and every single week. As you know, this video training is a wrap, but I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye-bye.